So a really cool way to slice things is with the plane. So I'm going to show you a few different ways to do it, but we're, we can slice with planes, we can slice with cubes, objects, anything, um, and it can really make your slicing a workflows way easier. Um, I've been doing it with a lot of print and place techniques and hard surface modeling, uh, but I just wanna show you the very, 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 very basics of it today. So let's go ahead and save. And now we've got a manifold monkey that we can start slicing. So everyone make a new object, make sure you're in flexible designs here. And we're gonna do shift A and create a plane. And it's gonna be really, really tiny. So let's do like, Maybe like 75, let's see what that does. There we go. So we got a nice plane that's covering the entire portion of our monkey here. And I'm even rotate it on the Y, maybe 90 degrees, there we go. So we got a nice slice going down the front of Suzanne here. And so we can't just slice this plane from Suzanne's head because technically there's no geometry um, for this plane. I mean, I guess it is kind of uh, a plane, but it's it's really, really thin. So what we need to do is to thicken it up. So to do that, everyone add a solidify modifier, and this is gonna be very, very helpful. So notice we've already got 0 0.001 thickness. It's very, very thin. If we go to the front view, it's almost, almost noticeable. And if you look at the front here, you can see that if we add thickness, it's only going in one direction, you know, so there's the center. Um, but what we want to do is change the offset to zero. So now it's going to kind of grow in both directions. So this is up to you. You can always change this, um, but for what we're doing today, this is going to make it a little easier. And now what we're going to do is just type in the tolerances of our slice here. So usually if you're doing tolerances or like the gaps in between 3D prints, you can usually do about like 0.3. Uh, if your printer is not really dialed in or you're not very good at 3D printing yet, uh, no worries, you can always do like 0.5. It's gonna give you a way bigger gap, but it's gonna give you some uh, lenience when you're slicing objects. So I'm gonna do 0.3 like that. And there we go. So now we've got a plane with some geometry with a nice little uh, kind of tolerance offset there. So now that we've done that, we can slice our monkey up. So first we wanna click on the plane, shift click on the monkey because that's what we want to slice and then go to the edit tab. Make sure you have your bool tool turned on and we're gonna do a brush boolean slice. You can also do control numpad uh, divide sign or backslash and that's going that can that's the shortcut if you want to do that but for today we can just click the button bloop, and looky there we've got a nice slice that's coming out of our monkey here and one thing to note is uh, blender actually duplicated the original suzanne so we have suzanne uh, with the eyes in there and then we have um kind of a new Suzanne that's been added. So that's just what the slice does. It's kind of like, um, it's slicing things from our design. But all we have to do is just click on the little sliced part here and then just hit X to delete it. And there we go. Now we've got a nice slice through our design here. And we can do the same thing with more of these. So I'm just gonna click on this little guy here, our little plain slicer. We can even call it, you know, slicer. That's our slicer plane. Maybe slicer plane would be better. And you may be asking, why would I ever want to do this? And really the the, the cool thing about this is if you ever want it, if you have like a big object that doesn't fit in your 3D printer or you just want to do, just cut something into pieces uh, so that they fit together really nicely, then you can do it with this, um, this style here. Another cool thing is say if we went into edit mode on our plane and we, did control R to add an edge loop. Notice we've got an edge loop here. Just put it anywhere in the middle. We can take that edge loop. I'm just gonna go into this edge part here, select our edge loop, hit G and X. And notice as we're moving the, the line here, it's actually moving that slice. And if we were to do this manually, it would be very tricky. Like even look at here, it's like, it's skipping over this and still connecting. So you can do some really, really advanced slicing uh, with this technique. So I'm just gonna undo that uh, just cause we don't need that 
that slice there. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the flexibility of it. It's pretty awesome.